Hello friends, welcome to this video on the two major functions of Excel that is known as is error and if error. So both these functions are very very important if you want to check the errors. So let us start with the video. So here we'll be talking about these two functions that is is error and if error. Here it says that both is error and if error are the functions in Microsoft Excel which are used to handle errors but they work slightly different. So both are almost doing the same thing, but they are slightly different. So we'll also see the differences between the is error and the if error. First of all, we'll start with the is error function. So what is the purpose of is error function? It checks whether a formula results in an error. So in case of Excel, we are having various kinds of error. Let's say one of the error is division by zero. Another error is uh, not available. Then the third error is value and so on. Okay. So if we want to check whether this formula will result in an error then we want to check it with the is error function it returns true if there is an error otherwise it is false often combined with if statement to display the custom results when errors occur so we use the is error function with the if function the syntax of the is error is equal to is error bracket value so here in the value we can put the expression or any cell to check whether that cell is containing the error or not so we can also put here the cell reference here within this is error function now let us see the example of is error and then you will be clear with this function so let's say here we are having the numerator and we are having the denominator so now i want to divide this numerator by the denominator so here i'll be writing the formula with the help of the is error it says you are dividing numbers but some denominators are zero you can see that these two denominators are zero now see anything divided by zero will give you the division by zero error or divide by zero error so here it says you want to show error instead of the excel error message so normally if we don't take care of this error then excel will show us the error but we don't want to see that error we want to see in a proper manner so now here in this cell that is d35 i'll be typing the formula equal to i'll start with the if function because as i said earlier that normally the is error is written with the if function so i type with if function equal to if press tab now we have to write down the logical test so in the logical test i'll write down here is error inside the if function we write down the is error function now what we want to do here we want to go for the division that is 100 divided by 5 so is error bracket now here i'll be taking this cell that is b35 which is the numerator slash or division and then i take this c35 bracket complete okay so this is my logical test so now this is error what it will do that it will check whether this b35 is divided by c35 whether it is giving you an error or not if it is giving an error then it shows you that error so here after this logical test i put comma and now here i'll be writing let's say if it is showing you some error then it should give me some message like error okay so if this is true is error bracket p35 divided by c35 if it is true if it is giving some error then it should show me this message error otherwise it should just show me the value okay so let's say here, here 100 divided by 5 it will give me the answer 20 so it should just show you me the answer here so comma and then i write down here b35 slash c35 bracket complete if this division will give me an error then it will show me this message error otherwise it will just show me the value b35 divided by c35 so that's all press enter and now you see here that we are getting here the answer 20 now what we'll do that we'll drag the formula down and when we drag the formula down now see here we can get the error and here also we get the error so at both the places we are getting the error message because here we are getting the denominator which is equal to zero and here also it is zero so it is anything divided by zero will give you the error so this is how we are using the is error function to check the error now we come to the if error function so in the if error function it says here that what is the purpose here simplifies error handling so we will see the difference also between the is error and if error but normally the if error it simplifies the error handling then it returns a specified value if a formula results in an error otherwise return the formula's result it was introduced in excel 2007 and newer so here also you can say that if error is also checking the error if there is an error it will show you that message if you want to show the message like say error message or it will show you the value if there is no error 
So now here we are having this syntax that is equal to if error bracket. We have to put up the value. Value means it can be a formula or expression to evaluate. And then if there is some error here, which is created by that formula or expression, then we can show here some kind of a message that there is an error so that people can see that, okay, uh, when they see the message, there is an error. So they will get some idea here. Value if error means the result to return if there is no error. So now let us understand with an example. So here I'm taking the same example, which I've taken above, but here what we'll be doing, we'll be directly typing the if error. So I write down here equal to if error. Now in the if error, I have to put the expression or formula. So what I would want to do, I want to take this cell divided by this cell. So B72 divided by C72 comma. Now, if there is an error here because of this expression, then it should show me here message. It should show me some message here, error, bracket complete. So you see here that this if error function, it is much more simpler to write compared to the is error function. So equal to if error bracket, whatever the thing that you want to do here, here we want to do the division, this B72 divided by C72. And if it creates an error, then it should show me the error message here like this. Otherwise, it will directly do the calculation here. So I press enter. And now here we get the 20 because it is 100 divided by 5. It will give you the directly the answer 20. It, there is no error. But when I drag the formula down, then here you can see that we are having the error message because it is having denominator equal to zero. This is how we are using the if error. Just compare this formula with the if error formula. So if error formula is very, very short compared to the is error. And for if error, we don't require any if function. We can directly type the if error function. But for is error, normally we write down with the if function. Now let us finally see the differences between the is error and the if error. So is error plus if function. Here yeah, we go for the combination. So that is the older system. While the if error is much more simpler, is error plus if function, it requires two functions combined, as we have seen earlier, while if error, it requires only one function, that is the if error function. Is error plus if, it works in all Excel versions, while if error, it is available from Excel 2007, but we don't have to worry because currently we are in 2025. So in all the Excel versions that we use currently, it will work, okay? But the minimum version that you should have is Excel 2007. The is error plus if is more flexible for complex logic, while if error is easier and faster to write. That is what we have seen in the example also. Yeah, it is very, very short, very simple, and it is also easier to write and faster to write. That is the if error function. So friends, here we have seen the differences between the is error and the if error. Normally, I would suggest you to write down the if error function when you are having a choice, but it depends. Whenever you are having some kind of a complex logic, then you can also use the is error function. Now, in the next video, I'll be talking about the not function, and also I'll be discussing one another function known as if na, if if na. So see you in the next video. Thank you very much.